2024 is about 17% of the way done. Obviously, depending on the time you're watching this. Now, there are a number of things that you can do starting now to conquer 2024, to conquer your life. And it really just depends on what that looks like for you. What do you want to conquer? For most people, myself included, a lot of it has to do with finances. If you've been following my journey, with my YouTube shorts or on my Instagram, you know at this point in time, I am recording every single day about my pursuit of making a million dollars before I turn 30 years old. And I want to give you some insight so that you can conquer your life in whatever aspect it is. The first thing that you need to do is to figure out what you want. Now that may seem obvious, but you need a definite goal, whether it's a certain financial goal, financial objective, if it's a personal development milestone, you need to know exactly what you want and you need to set a time frame for when you want to achieve it, for when you want to accomplish this goal. So again, for me, my goal is to make a million dollars before I turn 30, which at the time of recording this is around 378 days. When I started, it was 415 days. So I made the goal, I figured out what I wanted, and then I set a time frame to achieve it. So now that you have a goal in mind, you have a destination. It's one of the most important aspects of conquering because you cannot hypothetically sail across the world if you don't know where you're going. You can't sail to a destination if you don't have a destination. So now that you know what you want, it's now time to take action. And that action is becoming obsessed with everything you need to know to get you to that goal. So let's say that you want to make a million dollars by the end of the year. It's a very ambitious goal and I very much respect that. So let's break that down. You want to make a million dollars in about nine months if you're watching this immediately from the time that I release it. You need to then think of ways where that could be possible whether it's a software, whether it's starting a service business, whether it's starting an agency. There's so many ways you can do. There's so many businesses you can start. So the big thing with this step is to know exactly what interests you. You have to explore your interests. Now, there are a few reasons why. Obviously, being interested in something means that you'll have more enjoyment in the process of learning about it. And then there's also the aspect of if you're interested in it, there's probably a reason why you're interested in it. If you're religious or have, you know, faith in God or even the universe, there's something that draws you towards that. Your intuition, you must follow it. And another really big important part about following your interests is that you learn about it. You learn if you actually want to do that, if it's something that you actually want to learn. Because in this game of life, there are unlimited possibilities. Graduating high school and going into college and knowing exactly what you want is very rare. There's so many people who go that route and then quit halfway through because it's not what they really want to do. And that's fine. So after you set a goal, figure out what interests you and start pursuing it. If you wanna start an agency, what kind of agency do you wanna start? Is it a social media agency? Is it an AI automation agency? Are you building a software? And then you need to break that down. If it's social media, learn about content creation, learn about marketing and sales, learn about speaking, improve your speaking ability improve your writing. It wouldn't hurt to also learn about video editing. Learn every single thing you can about what your interest is that aligns with your goal. And from there, that'll help you weed out the stuff that doesn't really resonate with you. And you can use that as a data point to pivot in the direction that better suits you. And then the third step in this process is to create content about your journey, essentially documenting your progress in the form of an online journal because I spoke about this in my previous video, that you want to build human connections. You want to build an audience, whether you're building a personal brand or a professional brand, having an audience there is paramount to success. And there's just something very magnetic about pursuing a goal publicly and bringing people along on that journey with you, documenting your thoughts, your feelings, the processes and just inviting people to experience this with you. It's not only inspiring for other people, but it genuinely feels good for you because you are inspiring others. You are emptying the contents of your brain, whether it be feelings, thoughts, perspectives on certain aspects. And there's just some sort of enlightenment you get from just sharing that. And again, there's a lot of nuances to this a lot of obstacles to overcome when it comes to creating content. What do you talk about? Are you comfortable with being in front of camera? There's a lot of obstacles to overcome, a lot of roadblocks in this journey, a lot of stuff that I had to overcome myself. But now as I've been doing it over and over, 
I look forward to creating, I look forward to inspiring, and I love looking back on stuff that I've recorded previously, other videos that I've done, and seeing how much I've progressed from that point. So when you have a goal, so now that you have a goal, you've broken that goal down, and you've explored your interests, and figured out what direction you wanna start moving in, and you've begun documenting your progress, this is where you start to build an audience. And it does take a lot of time. Even at the time of recording this, my channel and my social media networks aren't that big. At the time of recording this, I have about 2,100 subscribers on YouTube and you know a few thousand across Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. So I'm not big yet. And that's totally fine. You don't want to just create content for the sake of building an audience. Yes, that is a plus. That is very important in creating a personal brand or a business and you know a presence online. But the biggest part about doing this is creating value for others taking things, taking knowledge, taking experiences, and creating a unique perspective that is formed in your mind, and then sharing that with the world. Because you are 100% unique. There is no one like you that has existed or ever will exist. Your thoughts, your feelings, your perspective, your experiences, your tone of voice, how you look, all of this encompasses your unique DNA of what makes you, you. So capitalize on it. Be as authentic as possible and make sure that what you put out there aligns with your core beliefs and your brand that you create. And the final piece in this structure to conquer your life is to give advice. So as you go on this journey, as you document your progress, you will run into speed bumps. That is part of the journey. That is part of life. So as you run into these setbacks, these pitfalls and these dark days where a lot of the times you don't feel like you can make it out, you will make it out eventually. It's just a matter of time. It's a matter of seeing the bigger picture. You will make it out of every single pitfall, every single dark day that you experience. And now the beauty of this is sharing the advice that helps you out of here, that helps you out of the pitfall, sharing that with the world, giving advice. Going back to our business example, if you are failing with your agency over and over and over, you know, you schedule a call every day for, you know, three weeks and every single lead, every single prospect that you then get on a call with, you don't make a sale. So for all these weeks, you're doing all this work for nothing. It is a matter of putting that into a perspective that other people in that situation, other people who may even be in that situation later down the road, creating a sort of perspective for them to know that, yeah, this sucks, but look, he made it out. I literally saw his journey when he was talking about this. He talked about how to go about that mentally. He showed me that, hey, this is part of the journey. Like you're not gonna land every single client. Creating perspectives like that for other people, creating content and actionable advice for people, you know, a couple steps behind you or even past versions of yourself is the name of the game. So if you master all of these aspects, of building your brand, the success you can achieve, forget a year, in a matter of months, is unimaginable. But you have to believe in yourself. You have to overcome those self-limitations. And above all, you have to pull the trigger. You have to get started. No more procrastination. I'm recording this video at seven in the morning. I've been awake for four hours now. I haven't even clocked into work, which I have to go do in like 40 minutes. And I didn't want to record this. There was a nagging voice at the back of my head saying, hey, no, it's not scripted. We have to script it. We have to you know, test it out. We have to do all these things to make the perfect video. It's not gonna be a perfect video. It shouldn't be a perfect video because I'm not perfect, I'm human. And it's going to be a piece of me that I then put out for all of you guys to dissect, take apart, there will be bits and pieces of this that resonate with you, bits and pieces that don't, and that is fine. That is what consuming content is all about. So, tyrants, get out there, figure out what you want, figure out what interests you, become obsessed with it, learn as much as you can about it, create content, put yourself out there, create your digital avatar, your personal brand, and document your progress towards your goal. And then, once you overcome challenges in this quest for conquering your life, share your secrets, share what helped you out. Give advice to the tyrants who are just starting this journey of conquering your lives. It can be daunting at first to start creating content, but I assure you, as long as you stay true to yourself and you're not faking anything, if you're not faking who you are, it really is super easy and fulfilling. I feel great doing this. So my fellow tyrants, make sure you join the Tyrant Empire in the link below and be surrounded by like-minded individuals 
who are all on a mission to conquer their lives. I will see you guys next week. Until then, keep conquering.